Hi, I'm Sarah Lynn, a self-proclaimed neat freak conquering clutter one space at a time. And today I'm sharing my tips for tidying up the mudroom. Now the mudroom really is the workhorse of the home. It's a busy thoroughfare with lots of ins and outs all day and night, so it's easy for it to get chaotic. But I always find a nice tidy entryway is the best way to welcome people. This mudroom belongs to an active, busy family of six, so it was a little cramped and cluttered. These homeowners asked me to help them get it sorted out, and here's how I did it. My first tip when tackling a space like this is to completely clear it out to start. That way you can take an inventory of everything you have, assess what can stay and what can go, and then put everything back in its place, which is what I am all about. I wanted each individual family member to have a space to call their own, so each of the children has their very own cubby. I labeled each cubby with these adorable name plates, which I made using nothing but dollar store frames and little printouts of each child's name. And then I just affixed them to baskets above each cubby. All of the remaining baskets were labeled with these inexpensive temporary tags. That way they're easy to change out since the contents of the baskets will change with the seasons. Speaking of baskets, they are an amazing option when organizing the mudroom because they hide any sort of mess. You want to avoid any sort of clear containers because they'll just add to visual clutter. I love these baskets in particular because they come with a fabric liner that can be removed and washed easily. Being such a busy family, planning is always key. So I created this DIY family planner using a framed galvanized piece of metal from the craft store. You always have the option to paint out the frame here to match the mudroom, but I chose to keep it natural and I think it looks beautiful in this space. I use small containers with magnets on the back to create zones for things like mail and schedules and pens. I even managed to create a clever place for them to put their headphones using just a pine cone and a small magnet. You'll notice there are no keys hanging on this board and that's no accident. It's really important never to hang your keys within sight of the entryway. For key storage, I actually converted this pretty antique letterbox that they had by just adding some simple hooks. I also always recommend leaving a small mirror in the mudroom so you can take one last quick look at your makeup before heading out the door or check for something in your teeth. Now when it comes to the mudroom, one thing you can be certain of is that there will always be an abundance of shoes. I like to keep things looking neat and tidy by keeping just one pair of everyday shoes in each family member's cubby and then managing the overflow with an oversized shoe rack hidden away in the closet. And might I just say, when it comes to shoe storage, I always recommend adding a little sachet full of baking soda for its deodorizing effects. It keeps things smelling a whole lot fresher. This family is really active and loves their sports, so they had a ton of sporting gear hanging around. I decided to consolidate it all in a single oversized bin like this, but I actually put the bin on wheels to make it really easy for the kids to pull it out of the closet, grab what they need, and get straight outside. It's a great solution, super convenient, really inexpensive, and nice, neat, and tidy. When it comes to storing coats, at least in northern climates, heavy duty hangers are key. In this case, I wanted to keep all of my hangers consistent because it reduces visual clutter, but it's really important that they be tough and sturdy since they are carrying some heavy coats. I also always recommend as the seasons change to cycle out older items to make room for new ones. That also helps to reduce the clutter. The older members of this family have a bit of an easier time staying sorted, but for the kids, I wanted to give them a special place to put all of their outerwear. To do that, I purchased these adorable kids organizers with a little pocket for everything they need. Finally, in a high traffic area like the mudroom, it is always a good idea to have your cleaning tools on hand. I love that the vacuum is mounted in this closet for easy cleanup, and I stored the excess accessories just above it in some closed storage. I also stored some other essential odds and ends in baskets above. One final key to keeping things tidy is to create a space that the family is really proud of. To do that, I added a few personal touches that I think really make the space something special. First, I added this really beautiful oversized basket that can be used for things like umbrellas or oddly shaped items. 
Next, for some comfort and coziness, I added this nice big pillow, really handy to lean on when you're putting your shoes on. And then finally, I wanted to add some greenery to this space. Not only does greenery look lush and gorgeous, but it's also really welcoming. So it's perfect for an entryway. And there you have it, a beautifully organized mudroom, perfect for a busy family and for welcoming guests. I really hope these tips inspire you to transform and tidy up your own mudrooms. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.